QMK stands for Quantum Mechanical Keyboard. It's a very popular free and open source firmware for mechanical keyboards. The source code is available in GitHub under GPL v2 license. Thousands of mechanical keyboard brands and models are supported. The community is huge with a lot of developers and users. A key feature of QMK firmware is the ability to reprogram each key using a key map. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you the exact steps how to create your own key map for your mechanical keyboard. QMK provides a few different ways to select, customize and flash a key map to your keyboard. Command line interface, which is the most advanced way. QMK Toolbox, which is a graphical user interface application for macOS and Microsoft Windows users. QMK Configurator, which is an online tool which you can use directly in your web browser. For this tutorial, we'll be using the command line interface. For this video, I'm using Anavi Macropad 2, a super simple mechanical keyboard with only two keys and microchip 80Tiny85. It's entirely open source and designed with KiCad. Step number one, download the source code of the QMK firmware to your personal computer. The source code is available in GitHub. You can either directly clone the repository on your personal computer the way I'm doing it right now through the command line or alternatively, it is also possible to download it as an archive and extract it. After that, run make git submodule to download all additional source code of the dependencies of QMK firmware. Step number two, creating a new key map. Let me tell you my little secret. The easiest way to create a new key map is actually to reuse an existing key map and to modify it. And by the way, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Before you proceed, make sure you have successfully installed QMK and set up the development environment on your computer. It's available for GNU Linux distributions, macOS and Windows. I'm personally using it on Ubuntu Linux. Instructions how to install and set up the development environment for QMK are available in the user's manual. Check for more details the link in the description of the video. In the source code of QMK firmware, there is also an existing default key map for Anavi Macropad 2. I'm gonna copy it and modify it. The new key map is gonna be funny and super simple. We are going to write 0 and 1 for binary programming. I'm adjusting the proper key codes according to the QMK documentation in the C file. Furthermore, if both keys are pressed simultaneously, I'm going to control the backlight of the keyboard. As you can see, the QMK key map is defined inside a C source file. The data structure is an array of arrays. Technically, it is also possible to create advanced key maps with several layers and use the same key for several different functions. Check QMK documentation for the full list of valid key definitions. When the new key map is ready, have a look at the README file for the specific keyboard that you have. You'll find instructions how to compile and flash the firmware with the new key map on the keyboard. Arvi Macropad 2 is a little bit specific because it relies on microchip 8085 and the Micronucleus bootloader. After running the make command, we have to connect the USB cable to flash it. Now it is time to test our new key map. Sharing is caring. If you think that your brand new key map might be useful to someone else, take a moment and open a GitHub pull request to the Git repository of the Quantum Mechanical Keyboard firmware in GitHub. Add your files and commit them. Put extra efforts to write an excellent description of the changes in your Git commit message. One more thing. This binary key map for Anavi Macropad 2 was suggested by Chris from Crowd Supply team. I'm using a git trailer suggested by in the commit message to give him a credit for this wonderful idea. 
there is a straightforward procedure how to create a GitHub pull request. Log in in GitHub, fork the repository, after that push your changes to this repository, it's highly recommended to use a separate branch, and finally from the web UI, create the GitHub pull request. When you are opening a new GitHub pull request with changes to the QMK firmware, there is a template which you should fill to describe with even more details what are the changes that you have done. When your GitHub pull request is ready, don't hold your breath. QMK is an enormous project, there are a few maintainers, a lot of developers, a lot of pull requests, so the maintainers are busy and it may take a few weeks for your GitHub pull request to be reviewed and to get some feedback. If you like mechanical keyboards, if you're interested in QMK firmware, if you like open source software and hardware, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.